Hey guys, welcome to Peripheral Vision, and today we're going to be taking a look at the N64 Expansion Pack. The purpose of this pack is to expand the RAM, or random access memory, of your N64 from 4 megabytes to 8 megabytes. So where does this thing go? Well, you'll notice a little panel on your N64 that you can open up. And you'll see this. This is what's known as a jumper pack, which is what most N64s come with naturally. Typically, the expansion pack comes with a little plastic piece which allows you to pop this out of here. However, I found that you can use just a standard butter knife to do it. Just slip it under the lip here, and it pops right out. Then, all you have to do is place your expansion pack in the slot, put that back on, and you're ready to go. Although it was sold as an individual item, it's perhaps more famously known for being bundled with Donkey Kong 64. In Japan, it was also bundled with The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and Perfect Dark. The reason for these bundles is that these three games are unique in the fact that they require the extra RAM the pack provides to run. In Donkey Kong 64, it fixes a game-breaking glitch. In Majora's Mask, it allows for more on-screen models. And while Perfect Dark will actually run without the pack, the majority of the game's content won't be available. There were a lot of games that took advantage of the expansion pack, but thankfully didn't require it. Most of these titles simply use the extra RAM to provide higher definition video or a faster frame rate. A handful, however, had special features that were only accessible with the extra memory. Notable examples of this are Extra Missions in Starcraft 64, More Tracks in San Francisco Rush 2049, and Four Player Multiplayer in Gauntlet Legends. There is one game that had a notably negative reaction to the expansion pack, and that is Space Station Silicon Valley. For unknown reasons, the game would randomly crash during startup when the pack is detected. Nowadays, these little guys can be kind of expensive, floating somewhere between $20 and $30 on eBay. Now, of course, there are less costly alternatives made by third-party companies, like the High Res Pack by Mad Cats. Now, I've heard rumors about these overheating, but after doing some research, I couldn't find a single first-hand account of this, so I think it's safe to say the rumors are false. Overall, this item isn't absolutely necessary. Unless, of course, you specifically want to play one of the games that requires it. But if you can find one for a good price, first or third party, it certainly doesn't hurt. Now, to round out the review, a song brought to you by the N64 Expansion Pack.